welcome back for another video. Today's video I'm going to teach you how to use Medibang paint. So first things first, you've, we've got our little man to use for demonstration. Normally when you first click on it, it looks like this, but you just tap to get rid of them. Um, if you want to draw, you press the pen tool or you can press the pen tool here, which is just easily switch them around at the bottom. And then you just draw. And then you can press the, the undo and redo button. Next thing you can do is if you want to change the size of your brush, you tap this colour where you can change the colours as well of the brushes, the colour of your pen. And you can change the opacity of the brush and make it bigger. You can change the opacity of the brush etc. You can change the size. So I'm just going to keep him out right here. I'm going to draw him a little friend. Okay, so next thing that most people use many bang because they want to use the correction tool. So if you want to access the correction tool you press this where it loads the brushes. Then you press more which is here and then the correction tools here. I know we keep my correction at 10 and 20 for line out or etc. You can just tap it away. So here's some other cool features that you might not know. This here allows you to do lines and shapes. I know we just use the circle one or the rectangle one if I'm bored. So yeah, basically just shapes, just gonna undo that. But then again, you can also move your people around. But to do this, you just press this tool here, which allows you to resize, pull, switch, pull. You can press free, which allows you to change it like that. You can just tell you want to do with it. It's up to you fold them and then mesh transform where you can do basically the same thing just certain ways etc and you don't want to do anything to them so you're just going to press x and back and then back now to layers to press layers you press the button at the top the layers will act to here so the different types of layers you can have all these i don't use any of them. <laughs> I only use color layer, that's literally it. I've never tried using the other layers, I don't know what the other layers do if I change the type of layer, so I'm comfortable with these type of layers, so I just keep color layers basically. Um, so if you want to draw another man, this is going to be his sister, and she's very tall. <laughs> So she's in different layers. You can hide layers by pressing the I button, hide, boop, boop. You can also press normal, which is a multiple. You can change the type of layer. It's multiplied, but you can't really see unless you use it as color on top. Um, this is another thing where you press protect alpha. You're allowed it wherever if you color, it just colors in what's in that layer. So it doesn't color anywhere here, just here. So protect alpha does, does the same here. So say I'm gonna change this one. Is that etc. So we also have a clipping where it's gone. So if I was to if I wanted to basically do what protect alpha does on a separate layer, that's what I would use clipping for. Basically, I normally do this when I'm doing when I'm adding um, shading and stuff like that, etc. Um, you can lock your layers. I don't lock my layers. I don't really need to lock my layers. And you can change the type of layer. It's like situation, situation layer, etc, etc. This is mostly for when you're doing like colors on, like shading and stuff. And that's basically layers. You can delete your layer by pressing delete. The trash can duplicate by pressing duplicate and plus by pressing plus. And you can also merge layers by pressing this little dot and pressing merge down. And the layer has been merged, merge down, and it's all on one layer now. That's how I use layers. Oops, 
has this big fat thing in the way. So then that's layers. Um, I'm also going to teach you guys the bucket tool. It's basically self-explanatory. The bucket tool. <laughs> Um, we're going to use this tool, this allows you to do this and then it selects whatever is in white and then you're able to move it like so. Oh, wrong layer. <laughs> All the time. And then if we go on the right layer, you only move that because say these, because these two are on the same layer and you just want to move one thing or edit one thing from the layer, you can. And if you don't want to do that, you can press this, but press a certain layer and you cannot draw like it's out of that bound so it won't draw anywhere else but there um, and then you also have this if it's basically the same thing but you just colour it instead and then you can't go out of there that's basically what it is and I don't use this because it's not really helpful it doesn't really do anything or well, I don't really know how to use it so that's probably why and another cool thing that most people use if especially if you're going to do comics etc and you want to try out Medibang is you can use panels so I'll just and I'm just leave default and then you can just make really cool panels it's not even letting me do it will it let me do it now now we'll just do them like this yeah you can do your panels however you want to have them, etc. And then you can add text. This text, I wouldn't advise using the text um, thing because it's kind of just annoying for me. <laughs> I never really use it. It gets really annoying because it keeps popping up and you're like, move, kind of thing. So that's basically the basics of Medibank. The other thing I wanted to show you guys is how to add more brushes. So these are the brushes I have. I just edit the brushes. The only con about Medibank is, I think, is the lack of being able to like edit your brushes. So you can't really create much brushes or download much brushes. Or download much brushes. So you can press add here at the top add brushes and then it takes you to the cloud and you're able to download any brush that you want. They actually have a wide range of brushes and that's pretty cool and pretty helpful. And also thing is if you slide you can copy the brush which means duplicate, slide to delete a brush, delete and if you want to rename your brush press the settings of the brush and you can change and edit the brush and you can change the name of the brush etc. So that's basically it for this video. I hope this was helpful. Like and subscribe for more videos and bye.